Hi guys, Mal here. Um, figured I'd do a quick video demonstration of the perfected negative resistant effect. Um, I don't have much time to do this video, so I'll try and keep it under 10 minutes and show everybody the exact discovered effect that's occurring. Um, basically, for those who don't know, we created a negative resistant Super Jewel Ringer Circuit 3.0. Um, instead of using the high frequency power directly, we wound a resonant coil around it, this yellow Tesla coil per patent 336961. And um, we, uh, the negative resistant output is composed of a carbon film resistor network with capacitors, the correct value. And our primary RLC circuit is negative resistant, earth grounded here to my heater and it experiences a gain in power and you only see that gain in power on an oscilloscope when you're recharging a battery so this is a completely dead battery for the test dropping in charge and this system can rapidly recharge batteries and uh, you'll have to forgive me I have horrible allergies and can barely breathe half the time but uh, anyway I'm gonna give a demonstration of this system also here is a view of how the negative resistant effect looks right out of a textbook Positive resistance, zero resistance, negative. Your waves start small and get big. So that's the effect we were looking for, the supercharge effect. We achieved that. I'll turn the system on and show you. Hit auto-tune on the scope. And as you can see, our waveform starts small, gets big, and the output of that yellow coil via the sh shock key diodes are rapidly recharging this battery and you can see that rapidly recharging if I connect the uh, light this 10 watt light bulb up it'll run no problem it is a 10 watt halogen light I have the uh, yeah the little case for it right here 10 watt halogen so we're seeing that guy run no problem Negative resistance on the scope, uh, that negative resistance will only be visible when you earth ground the circuit here and you begin to uh, recharge your battery via that coil. Then the negative resistance shows up and you know you achieved it. So we're dropping under load because this is a dead battery, but the effect really shines when I disconnect the load and we rapidly recharge. And I'm just going to get my chair to sit down and film. I don't have much time today, but I discovered this effect late last night and figured I'd document and show it. So, we're rapidly recharging. See that? No problem. I'll try and show this multiple times for at least a 10 minute video. And this battery was completely dead. You want to peek under the desk? Here's how it looks. Nothing funny going on. Um, the circuit still maintains wireless power when on. Impressive wireless power. To the point where it blows your mind. So. And again, if you don't believe that it's coming from the circuit, I'll switch this off. So. I believe the... That wireless power is coming from the yellow coil. There is a negative resistance on the scope. Can't be denied. We're now selling just this version. This is the version of the ringer that's modified for negative resistance. And um, is on the generator boards. Except we just sell this model now for $390. And it's just this model modified for negative resistance and supercharging. Minus the uh, generator board which has the expensive battery the battery capacitor hybrids and the solar panel so you see that batteries pretty much fully charged from the negative resistance supercharge effect um, connect the light back up 10 watt load on a completely dead battery that shouldn't even be accepting a charge this was given to me at work for free a while ago like two three years ago I believe it was in a little mini um, e-jack or something a really mini one here we go, we're dropping. Negative resistant visible. And once again, to sum up the system, we created a Super Jewel Ringer 3.0 circuit.
the modification we made is we shrunk it down, wound it on a Type 77 Met Glass laced ferrite rod. The Met Glass is a benefit to us for efficiency. We then created a negative resistant RLC circuit, and instead of using that power directly, we earth ground it for more nonlinear effects. And we tap into it wirelessly and resonantly to, with the goal of decoupling cause from effect so we can achieve rapid resonant recharging of batteries and capacitors. And this system gives you more output power over time. Um, the yellow output coil, the output will become equal to your input when properly tuned and in this form of resonance. So it's the utmost efficient way to wind coils. Uh, per Nikola, Nikola Tesla patent 336961, that's exactly how we wound it, most efficient way. And once again, I will disconnect the 10 watt load from the battery. We will watch the hyper recharge effect occur. And the newer your battery, the quicker this will recharge. So, figure I'd document and demonstrate that. This other voltage meter is just reading the uh, voltage on our source. We have a source 14 volt DC battery here powering up the ringer circuit and um, then the wireless power we tap off it with the yellow coil does that rapid recharging effect of batteries. And once again to achieve that you have to create a negative resistant ringer circuit. Um, people who want to deny it, you can't deny it because it's literally in textbooks you can print information off of it. It's right there. That's the negative resistance supercharge effect. Clear as day, you can see it. I circled it. You even see it on the scope, on my oscilloscope. Your waves start small, then get big, and the effect only shows up. You can't take a reading of the off the coil just by itself. You'll never see it. I discovered this late last night. The effect only shows up when you're, when you connect it up to your battery and are supercharging it, then the effect shows up. And um, I earth grounded. You earth ground part of the negative resistant RLC circuit here, and just earth grounding that is responsible for the impressive wireless power effects at no input cost to the user. So. If I touch part of the circuit, it's so sensitive to tuning, sometimes I'll kill the oscillations. As you see, I killed it. And if it ever does that, you might have to turn it on and off a few times, or connect and reconnect. And that's our power output now. Very high frequency resonance. That's what's rapidly recharging our battery. And we're already at 13 volts on a dead battery. Again, I can connect the load up again. Runs no problem. Um, I'm probably going to make a much longer video soon. So, once again, we sell this unit. It was supposed to be 350 bucks, but after all the fees and shipping costs, it's a little shy of 400 for this model. Um, but yeah, our goal is to create and sell as possible the most affordable equipment for experimentation for you guys to play with and mess with and, and even further improve upon and share your discoveries. Um, all this is open source. Everything we discover is free for the community on our Patreon. Everything's listed on our Patreon for free. Big bank of knowledge. Along with old electrical engineering information. Anyone who wants to buy, the wait time is anywhere, anywhere from two weeks to two months depending on order booking and what you order and how much. Um, so again, we're seeing that it's draining, the dead battery's draining while running a 10 watt load. Negative resistance is present, I disconnect the light, battery will again rapidly recharge. And this output is also very efficient at running motors at full power and um, at almost no input power. So I'm thinking because Tesla originally developed this type of coil system to run very big motors efficiently like very big motor generator combos to generate power at almost no input power because um, according to Eric Dollard he 
he theorizes that energy synthesis is possible if you vary capacitance and inductance with respect to time, which would occur with a motor generator system being supplied with power from a pulse DC coil system such as this. So that's an important note to keep in mind. And um, there's a rapid recharge effect on the battery. If I shut the ringer off, you'll see the charge really is there. Um, this battery drains charge quickly because it is a completely dead battery, perfect for testing. I wanted to really test and strain the system. And I will connect my light bulb now that was recharged by that rapid resonant recharge effect. See how quickly it drops. So this battery isn't really even made to run loads anymore. It was completely dead when I got it. It came out of an old e-jack at work, I think. It came from somewhere, but it was old, completely dead. <laughs> Man. And yes, yeah, so that's basically what's going on with that. Um, ringer is off. I switched it off to show you that the battery can't really hold a load. Worth a damn because it's a dead battery for testing. And again, I turn the ringer on. Uh, we're not in the state we want because sometimes you have to connect and reconnect. And then there we go. You have to give the system a moment to build up oscillation. And if I, it's actually slightly recharging now while running a 10 watt load. That's interesting. If you run the correct load too, it will power the load while still recharging. There's the negative resistant. There's our input. Input is one amp. If I disconnect the 10 watt light, the resonant rapid recharge effect takes over, and we ch recharge pretty damn fast. Um, this is the most improved model so far. It'll be on all the future generator boards, had a major breakthrough. And again, you only get that effect when you ground the circuit. So for example, if I remove this earth ground, look how small the waves get. They almost go to nothing. I add the earth ground to this part of the circuit boom the negative resistance is back in full force and again exact schematic of this coming to the website it's it's um very simple and again you only see that negative resistance effect when you're recharging a battery you won't see that effect straight off the coil you have to connect the output of the coil to a battery first to see that effect. And the scope is connected with one probe to the positive output of the coil. And I'll also link in this video the long video I made on how to build this system fully. Then once again I will run the light And this video is going on a little too long, I have to leave. Just wanted to get this out there with that discovery. 10 watt light, probably running a little over 10 watts. Um, again, I remove it. There's that supercharge effect occurring. So yeah, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, join the Patreon, even if it's not a paid member. Just being on the Patreon gives you access to free schematics. Um, I hide nothing behind a paywall. All this knowledge is free, all the information is free. How to build it, it's all, we're an open source research company. Um, we have an archive of ancient electrical knowledge from all the masters who gave us our modern world. Feel free to check that out, all compiled in one spot, bunch of books. Um, and yeah, thank you to everyone, because this stuff keeps growing, and it's from you guys. And basically, again, to sum it up, we created a negative resistant Super Jewel Ring or 3.0 circuit. The output goes into a negative resistant network, which is composed of carbon film resistors, three in parallel, um, 30K per resistor, three in parallel, five watts apiece, 15 watts total resistance, three in parallel, drops us from 30K to 10K resistance, Maintain resonance with two capacitors here. Um, one nanofarad a pop, two nanofarads a piece, so two nanofarads total. Um, 
these two capacitors really boosted the negative resistance. One is a 0.22 UF, the other is 0.001 UF, or 200 nanofarad. Might have to experiment with the location. That's where they are, how they look on the coil. And it kind of reminds me of a bit of Don Smith's system where he had that capacitor on the output of his coil. Mine is wound exactly as his. And that's what I needed to get my negative resistant effect with the rapid recharging where it's already at 13.24 on the freaking battery. And then I connect the light again, runs no problem. And I think what he was doing is uh, he never fully achieved, I don't think anyone can ever fully achieve a uh, over unity output but what I think happens is when you achieve this negative resistant supercharge effect by earth grounding you can supercharge batteries so fast and you're so efficient you have more energy over time than you're wasting so you can then pump that extra energy you get from recharging your battery back into the source and just keep going indefinitely and you can power up inverters with the uh, battery you charge so I'm going to have to get much bigger battery to test to see if this effect still occurs. In theory it should. The negative resistance effect should just get bigger um, because we have very nonlinear effects occurring. And again I disconnect the load. We'll rapidly recharge. So I, I really have to end this video and go. But uh, So I figured I'd show that. Uh, the wireless power effects are in weird spots. Even on random wires around my room, it'll glow very bright, very odd. Um, it'll even work on my gutter system outside. The light will glow extremely bright. So this effect is responsible for that. Very efficient, very interesting, very mind-bending. And again, I shut the system off. Wireless power is out. Battery slowly loses charge because it's a completely dead battery that shouldn't even be accepting charge in the first place. So again, that's that. Thank you, everybody. Showed the effect. Hopefully I explained it quickly. And I gotta go. And take care.